हेलो ऑल टुडे वी हैव मिस्टर साई कुमार रेड्डी हु सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक 6 इन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस एग्जाम 2023 विद इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग वी आर प्राउड टू से दैट मिस्टर साई कुमार रेड्डी वाज अ क्लासरूम कोचिंग स्टूडेंट एट हैदराबाद एंड ही हैज आल्सो टेकन गाइडेंस फॉर ऑल अदर टेस्ट सीरीज व्हाट नॉट एवरीथिंग सो मिस्टर साई प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग सर for giving me this wonderful opportunity and i always thank the ace academy and that has been a reason for my success i would say that and coming to my introduction currently i am working in ministry of electronics and information technology from last one and half year prior to this i was working in indian railways as junior engineer i have mm-hmm. completed my graduation from nit bhopal in electronics and telecommunication branch so what motivated you to shift towards this government job generally uh, nit students and iit students will get very good campus placements yes sir sir first thing is uh, i have studied in regional engineering that is a the government college so yeah. always thought i should return something to the government mm. so probably that will be one good thing and it can justify only whatever i have studied that has to be utilized then i have come through a few options that is gate and engineering services and mostly i was inclined towards this engineering services as it will provide a good platform and good services rather than getting i was not much interested into the public sector unit so i never opted that even though getting a rank in gate so i always you wanted nit student sai you are an nit student uh, can you think that the, the students of uh, ordinary government ordinary private colleges can crack this exam sir absolutely anyone can crack this exam sir mm. especially engineering services is like a marathon if they are marathon. consistent mm. if they are consistent enough for one year or two years if they can hold that now then compulsorily mm. everyone can do that thing because only the consistency matters and that hard work and keep on practicing that's it only practice and consistency is the mantra to crack the engineering services i would say that because in my thing especially i can relate to that because whenever i didn't do my good practice then itself my result i would have known i will not be getting selected in this attempt this time so i have practice, practice and will power practice and yes. will power that is required so generally what happens the students studying in uh, ordinary private colleges they will have some uh, inferiority complex say so we cannot we cannot we cannot but i have seen there are several students from ordinary colleges also getting good results this yes, year sir. we have seen okay yeah. so in the preliminary exam uh, for general studies part and technical part so how you have a uh, particular technical paper uh, 150 questions you could solve in 3 uh, hours sir my strategy was very simple use effectively when we are focused like first mm-hmm. hour of my examination i feel i am very much concentrated and i go for the i go to the paper where i feel much comfortable like which are subjects i feel generally this control system material science digital electronics networks is very scoring subjects so okay. directly go hit that questions complete i usually used to score like one question in one minute and less mm. than a minute in first 60 minute so mm. then in the same sequence if i if i find anything question very difficult and i i even don't know anything about that concept i used to cross mark that so that i will never revisit and time waste on that question unless and until if i have sufficient time to again revisit that so whichever question i can eliminate where i can eliminate the options i used to do that at least two option mm-hmm. if i could eliminate then i would risk for that question too so all those so, thing first to swallow the eg cake you have yeah. to say because never make a mistake my strategy was like don't make a mistake in which the question we know because if a question is tough it is tough for everyone if a question is easy really? then it's easy it's yeah. a really big problem yeah when we are making a mistake in easy question then we are going out of the race when if you are making a mistake in hard question it's okay we should not be much hard on ourselves too because there should be a, there will be a slight error in every examination we should not consider that everywhere we should be 100% accurate okay if we are hitting around 85 to 90% accurate we are enough that's more than enough to crack because engineering services if we observe that 50% is more than enough to get into the service yeah what about short notes or micro notes here? yeah sir short notes was like uh, i used to prepare one formula sheet for everything so mm-hmm. every time whenever i used to get uh, time i used to go through them because that formulas helps especially in prelims that helps a lot and even some concept like there used to be some statements especially while we are preparing writing uh, practice tests 
in ages in they are used to come make very good passion even though there is a single statement suppose there is environmental studies so they will be asking about 2020 which summit has been taken in this year so i used to note down all those what are the four options given and regarding those four options i would have made a separate uh, detailed analysis okay, okay, so that okay. that will give me a good idea if some question comes from that part so expanding the concept from the options also yeah for the final exam i am prepared for the current issues there is no need to prepare again separately for that if you prepare our test series and all the options sufficiently that's more than enough for suppose ict ethics even for ethics we no need not go for complete studying of examination rather than that whatever the questions it has come prepare them even analyze every option if there is some good concept rewrite that that will be more than sufficient that was sufficient for me to crack this examination okay coming to the mains exam okay concepts you may be having how you have practiced writing the uh, so answers or solutions of conventional questions have you taken papers and written yeah sir even after the examination uh, after the class or uh, i was working mostly for all the mains attempt so after going home i used to take daily my target was only 10 question mm. so whichever the subject i touch i have to do 10 question 10 question 20 into 10 200 like whatever if it is sub questions of 5 10 marks okay so i used to pick 10 questions same timer if it is 5 marks question i used to divide that time i used to keep like an examination i used to solve all those points whether i could possibly complete those 10 questions within the time frame or not and yeah. how much i am overwriting or underwriting the question because that mistake i have made in the previous attempt so i have rectified this time by practicing it so practice is the only thing and follow that consider previous year question especially in the mains examination consider previous year questions as bhagavad gita and go for that complete each and every question if you take the trend of that we will get much idea especially instrumentation subject if it is there telemetry is a question which is repeating from 2018 to 2022 every year so mm-hmm. there is no change in that mm-hmm. especially thermocouple there are few questions we can pick and say so if you are prepared for that at least 60 to 70 marks are in your hand before going into the examination hall itself Okay. And every coming time to the interview part, part uh, coming to the interview part how much time you have spent in, in the interview board sir in the board it was around 20 to 25 minutes was there sir okay how interview your interview proceeded proceedings uh, sir chairman in my panel was uh, lieutenant colonel retired rajiv shukla sir so okay. uh, questions were started from me starting with uh, my background we are coming from telangana so he started asking so how is telangana right now after the bifurcation from andhra pradesh whether it you think it is developed or how you consider then i said only single in s or no type he has asked me so that has gone then at that time burning issue was g20 that has completed then then they asked me to tell me three strategic decisions taken in g20 summit there a uh, first decision i said that middle east, about middle east corridor constructed uh, for the construction of middle east corridor from there it started on cross questioning in on that question itself so whether it is a rail network or land network why it is constructed what is the cost effective analysis you have brief in the details about cost effective analysis about this transportation facilities so there on on the same answer whatever i am going to answer on that cross questioning was going on for around 2 to 3 minutes there itself then next uh, member was there it was transferred to the next member then they started asking technical questions from digital electronics communication Mm. especially these two subjects were main i consider in technical regarding and again transferred to the member second member there they were asking about my job current jobs both ministry of electronics as well as in the indian railways and they were asking like what were the projects ongoing projects in railways about smart yard system what was in the store how did uh, there was a i was member in a uh, pivs member auditing member and as well as safety audit member so what parameters you consider how you think safety will be uh, how you can say that safety can be done for all employees working there so how you used to do those analysis so that was the discussion going on and one member asked regarding one hobby question regarding my table tennis so okay. which level you play mm-hmm. and how it helps you that was the thing so they touched each and every part <laughs> yeah. current affairs Hello. personality and uh, even hobbies technical very good yeah everything it was like um, 100% complete dap was there in that anyway mr sai kumar reddy your uh, journey is really inspiring so what is your suggestion to the juniors who are aspiring for engineer service exam 2024 uh, 
sir now time is very less almost yes. it's only around 2 2 and a half months is left yes whatever you have revised uh, keep on revising don't focus much on your weakness it's complete focus on your strength you are going to succeed this time believe in yourself i say always one thing if question is tough it's tough for everyone don't make mistake in the question which we know so try to improve the accuracy and calculations especially in the prelims there will be no calculator so try to be accurate and answers level while calculations also try to practice don't go for the exact calculation that is not much needed you can little bit round off that based by looking at the options how way how wide the options are based on that you can go for the calculations try to improve the speed and you can score much in technical rather than focusing more on non technical thank you mr sai kumar for your valuable time to uh, inspire the juniors uh, congratulations once again and pranams to your parents thank you all the best thank you god bless you thank you god bless. a lot thank you for you and all the teachers all my teachers in the academy they helped in this journey thank you so much thank you